So today we take a look at another new legendary 2D Bounty of Blood DLC. This is called the Gargoyle. And well, to sum this video up in about 10 seconds, this is the best and worst of two of my most favourite weapons rolled up into one. Stay tuned to find out what I mean. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the Gargoyle is a CLV pistol which is a world drop, but it does have an increased drop chance from Dick and Goyle located on Bloodstone Canyon. At the end of the video I'll direct you to his location. So this Gargoyle as far as I'm aware drops off in corrosive only, but does come in numerous variants, 2 times, 3 times, 4 times, you name it there's probably a version of it in the loot pool. So I will straight up state. This thing is an utter monster in terms of DPS. I mean I can't remember a weapon that killed this quick which wasn't helped by any glitch. It is that crazy. Now as you can see in the background footage now, and my build here is good yes, and I do use this for all weapon reviews, so comparing such I believe is fair. But man this thing melts and it melts like nothing I can remember using. Besides, the Hydro Thrust, do you remember that other CLV pistol? Shot stupid quick stupid DPS yeah that is literally just like this but that faded into the abyss because there were just better and more suitable weapons out there to use and to be honest guys I'm afraid in my opinion it's gonna be the same with this yes it kills stupid quick but that's the only one positive the rest for me are all negatives for instance yes this thing eats enemies alive but at the same time it eats its way through ammo quicker than anything I've ever seen and even building around this to help it and its ammo capacity and its consumption with my fish slap and cut purse I was still finding myself running stupid low on ammo and I ain't ever seen this before with this setup so yes it eats ammo and well it will also eat you alive too because how this weapon works is you shoot those projectiles on the slow side if I'm honest but they stick and then they explode. Now with my same build which is relatively decent defensive wise, just one of these projectiles, if it explodes near you, it's lights out. What you're witnessing here also, if you think about it, is not with any buffs coming into play in terms of damage etc from the build. When that happens it gets even crazier. I was running this a lot of shaft for about an hour before giving up with this weapon because I just kept killing myself and at first I didn't know what was doing it. I mean yes of course you can work on your setup so that's less likely to happen but in my opinion doing so takes away from other aspects of your build which work with a much larger majority of weapons so it wouldn't be worth it. And it's like I meant when I said it's the best and worst of two of my most favourite weapons rolled up into one. It's like the OPQ system and it's random shock explosions that are just well annoying and which always get you when you don't expect it. But on the other hand you have those projectiles, it's fire rate. And the after effect damage wise of the explosions, dealing incredible damage, much like the OG Kaosens. So yeah, all in all it is a stupid powerful weapon, but it comes at a cost, a cost of which in my opinion isn't worth it. That isn't to say a build couldn't be built up around this thing and just be stupid OP, I'm just saying that's what it would take for this thing to be viable in my opinion. On screen now you can see the route to Dick and Goyle who is located on a Bloodstone Canyon. So if you want to get it, you know where to get it. But on that note, we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one. I'll kill ya! Hey! Over here! Please help me! I beg you! when you're getting shot at. 